Oreo, how are you? Say hi to the people, Oreo. Say hi to the people. Hello. Down you go. What's up, Unijas? Welcome back to another video. And guess who is feeling great? Me. I took about a week off since my last video and I pretty much just got my health in check. Ate a lot of vegetables, ate a lot of fruits, pumped myself full of vitamin C, and here we are feeling pretty good. So for this video, as you guys can see in the title, we are going to be doing Burger King's entire breakfast menu. Now this breakfast menu has grown extensive. I did this video about three years ago and it was probably like 12 items. Now I think I have over 20 items of food, which is going to be insane. But the real reason why I'm going to be eating Burger King this morning is because they have these new French toast breakfast sandwiches, which I think look fantastic. I'm a huge fan of French toast. I love French toast. It's one of my favorite breakfast items that exist. So I'm super excited to be trying that. So that was the primary reason for this video. I just wanted to do the breakfast French toast sandwiches and I ended up just saying, screw it. I'm gonna order the whole menu. And breakfast is my favorite meal of the day. So I have already placed my order online. Right now it's 10.30. I place it about 10 o'clock. So it should be ready by now. And I know breakfast cuts off at 10.30, so hopefully that's not an issue or this whole video is kind of screwed. But I am hungry, I'm feeling good. So let's go ahead and see if our breakfast is ready. guys so we have the food unfortunately they're missing not missing some items but they didn't have biscuits which kind of sucks how do you not have biscuits at burger king for breakfast that's a pretty popular item but it is what it is they replaced it with um croissant bread instead of biscuits so i think it might be a little weird but you know what i love croissants so this should be okay and i will see you guys back at home All right guys, so we have all our breakfast here and boy, this is a lot of food. So here I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13 breakfast sandwiches. Wow, that's a lot of breakfast sandwiches. We have a burrito, we have a, I think it's like a mini burrito, French toast sticks, which I'm probably gonna start with because that is my, it's like my favorite item from Burger King. And then we have a stack of pancakes with a sausage on top and then two sides of tater tots. One of them was supposed to be like a fully loaded tater tot, but when I picked it up, she said that it didn't exist at that Burger King. Uh, so they just hooked me up with two tater tots. I'm sorry, not tater tots, hash browns. But these going on the floor, that was just aesthetic purposes, obviously for the thumbnail. Move around. I have a orange juice and I have a Power 80 here. Mm. So I think this is quite a bit of calories, so I'm gonna go ahead and put that on the screen right now. And we're just gonna go ahead and get right into the French toast sticks, some syrup to go with that. It has been a long time since I've had Burger King, so I'm super excited about the first bite here. Oh, that is beautiful. I should've got more of these. No, I have enough food. Oh wow, that's one down. We have four more to go. All right, what a perfect way to start breakfast. I swear I can eat like a hundred of these and my, I would be okay. Also wanna thank all of you guys that wish me to get well. It's much appreciated. I don't, I hardly get sick, like I think the last time I got sick was maybe like two years ago. I, I it's, it's not really a common thing for me. And even when I do get sick, it's not really anything terrible. I've always been that way my whole entire life. And wow, check this out. This is the new French toast breakfast sandwich. Now I have three versions. This one is the ham version and it comes with cheese, that big piece of egg. And then we have a generous amount of ham on the inside. So I'm really curious to know if it's like sweetened at all. Cause I know they did something a while back a few years ago and it was like a, it was like a French toast breakfast sandwich, but it also I think had syrup infused into the bread, almost similar like McDonald's McGriddle. Anyways, let's go ahead and try this bad girl. Too 
bites into it. The bread is actually really good. However, I think it needs like some sweetness to it. I do have an extra thing of syrup here. I'm gonna go ahead and open it and use some syrup because I think that's the only thing I think it's missing. I have to conserve the syrup because I do have those pancakes over there. That is so much better when you use syrup. And I really don't have any complaints for that last ham French toast breakfast sandwich. I really love the ham. I think it's Black Forest ham, but that was some fantastic ham. And we do have the three different ones. This one is going to be the sausage French toast breakfast sandwich, and it comes with two pieces of sausage, a piece of egg, and some cheese, along with the French toast on top and bottom. I feel like that ham is gonna be pretty difficult to beat. Orange juice is so tasty. I actually like the sausage in this one. I'd say between this and the ham so far, they're pretty even. I think the sausage patties at Burger King are pretty well seasoned. You do have to use some type of syrup for these. It makes the breakfast sandwich so much better. It gives it more flavor. It just needs a little bit of sweetness, that's it. And that's two down. This one also has a sausage patty in it. Oh, it has two slices of egg. So I guess it's like a, a double egg sausage French toast breakfast sandwich. Huh, that's kind of weird. I think it's supposed to have bacon though. 100% supposed to have bacon. You know what's weird? This one tastes like it has syrup already inside of it. Maybe it's, I don't know what it is. Mm-hmm. That's so weird because, mm. If the other two that I ate had the same kind of sweetness to this, those would have been super fine. They were good to begin with, but like I said, it needed some sweetness and this doesn't need any of the syrup, which I think is really cool. All right guys, so let me just clear up the sandwich situation. Apparently the first two sandwiches that I ate were sourdough breakfast sandwiches and I don't remember ordering that on the app. So I'm a little confused about that. And the one I just ate right now is actually the French toast breakfast sandwich. So I'm a little confused. I went back to my order and looked, but that's what it was. <clears throat> okay. That is three of them down. Now, I am curious to know what kind of bread they gave me for the sandwiches that were supposed to be biscuit sandwiches because she told me they were going to be using croissant bread, but I think they might actually use the French toast bread, I think. And that is correct because this one is also a French toast breakfast sandwich and this one is supposed to be the bacon one. I personally like there to be sausage in breakfast sandwiches, but this was one of the options. This one's not sweet. Out of the three French toast breakfast sandwiches, I'd have to say the sausage one, mm, the sausage and the ham were definitely tied and the bacon, like I said, it needs some sort of sausage or even ham would be. Um, pretty good as well. But we haven't got into any of the croissant, which is this one here is just the sausage, egg, and cheese croissant, which it has been a minute since I've had one of these breakfast sandwiches. So we have to do some investigation to know what this is because it looks like it is another French toast breakfast sandwich or them using the bread. You know what? I This is different bread. It's actually smaller, but this one I can see is infused with syrup. So I'm so confused about that. I don't, it's, it's so weird, but this one has egg, cheese, bacon. I'm so confused right now, guys. Honestly, that bread is so good. It needs to have syrup in there. Mm -hmm. 
That was also delicious. I hope I have more of those. Here we go with another one. I don't know what kind of bread they're using for this. Oh, this one is a croissant witch. Yeah, it's a croissant witch, it has nothing in it. This is supposed to be a normal sausage biscuit. This is what we got. You know, I'll be honest with you guys, I'm not even a fan of biscuits. I think biscuits, they're too dry for me. I would prefer this anyway. I think that's why I like biscuits and gravy so much because the gravy softens um, the biscuits up. Now, we only have six more. Now, here we go with ultimate croissants, which, which comes with everything. Ham, bacon, egg, cheese, fully loaded. I said ultimate, I meant fully loaded croissant, which this thing is lovely. I love this thing, I've had it plenty of times. Go ahead and fill some power in here now next on our list i am getting pretty tired of sandwiches right now an unesthetic looking bacon eggs and sausage and their breakfast sandwiches always look like this like you can get it fresh right out of the drive-thru or right off the grill and it's always gonna look like this No? <laughs> oh my gosh. Reese has just pulled this out of the trash. I have, it's obviously a wrapper, but she just, I'm just, hey, or, Reese's no. All right, so we're gonna take out one more sandwich and then we need some flavor change. We need to move on to maybe some of the hash browns or even the pancakes or the burritos. So this one is looking like they used that syrup infused French toast again. So this one is going to be ham. You know, these are like pretty much all the same, just different breads, but this is just ham, egg, and cheese. We're gonna switch it up with some of the hash browns. I think McDonald's has better hash browns. I also like the shape of the McDonald's hash brown to begin with, kind of like a patty. <clears throat> Done with that. And we'll go ahead and take out the other hash browns. I have some of this picante sauce. This is supposed to go with the burrito, so I'll leave that one there. I'll leave this one there, but I do have an extra one, and I'm gonna try it with the hash browns. I've never had this sauce before. Oh, it's salsa. Oh, that's really good. A small spice to it. Definitely prefer ketchup. We're almost there guys. Now I'm gonna try the smaller burrito I have here. I'm not even sure if this is a burrito. What is this? Let me give you guys a reference. Here's the normal burrito and here's the small burrito. It's literally half of it. Why do they even sell this? Well, okay, never mind. There's a market for people that just want a small, like two bite burrito, probably a part of a value menu. On the insides, it's hash browns, eggs, and a sausage and lots of cheese. We're gonna compare it to this burrito. I'm not sure if it's the same exact ingredients. So we do have one extra ingredient in here and that's gonna be bacon because I don't think bacon was in the last one. I'm almost sure I'm gonna prefer this one over the last one. How you
so not much left. Sausage, pancakes, and then three sandwiches. Now, I pretty much went over every sandwich that I've had so far, and this one is gonna be a croissant, which sausage, ham, egg, and cheese. And this one is gonna be another croissant, which another croissant, which, and then I have this sausage, which I'm just going to go ahead and add into one of these sandwiches. I'll add it into this one. And since I've gone already over these sandwiches, I'm just gonna take these three sandwiches out. All right, guys, so we're getting to the end of today's video, but I gotta say, I am sorry for the catastrophe that this video was with the sandwich situation. Um, it was kind of annoying to edit because going back, um, I realized that they were French toast sandwiches and then there was the obviously sourdough sandwiches and I don't know how I got that confused, but I just did get it confused. Nonetheless, I hope you guys did enjoy this video. This is like my pre-challenge video. I'm gonna do a restaurant challenges. I'm actually gonna do a few of them um, this in the next week. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna get back into the role of things. I actually have planned to go traveling for about a month, uh, but that's not gonna be until maybe May because I have a lot of things to do before then. But if you guys are interested in following along that journey, I will be posting stuff like that on Instagram. I know I have been MIA there, but I will be posting there. So I wanna thank you guys for watching as always and enjoy the rest of the video. And lastly, we have three pancakes left this has to be the biggest burger king breakfast ever on youtube probably in general i don't know if anybody else has eaten more burger king breakfast than this i know i haven't for sure so we're gonna go at this one at a time i'm just gonna scoop this up like a taco and just dip it like this because i have a fork over there but it's all the way on that table in the back end i don't feel like reaching for that and honestly this works And the last breakfast item of this video. Okay. Boy, that was a lot of food and I was worried there getting through those sandwiches in the beginning, but this took me about one hour to complete. I'm looking at the clock on the monitor and it says about one hour and five minutes. Boy, this did take a long time, but also I do a lot of talking. Anyways, Nate, wrap this up. And that's a wrap on today's video, the biggest Burger King breakfast challenge ever i'm pretty sure like i said in the video i don't think anybody's done a bigger breakfast challenge than that from burger king so i'm excited for the next video since i will be hitting a restaurant challenge i appreciate all your guys support and thank you so much for watching liking the video subscribing it truly means the world i hope you guys are staying safe out there healthy and enjoying life all right guys that's it see you in the next video peace